Worship children, welcome to our Sunday worship. Today is May 8th and 4th Sunday after the Easter. 안녕 친구들, 오늘은 예배드리는 주일이에요. 오늘은 5월 8일이고 부활절 후네 번째 주일이 됩니다. We light a candle for the presence of God and the Holy Spirit. 하나님과 성령이 함께 하심을 우리가 알도록 촛불을 켭니다. Our opening song is Our God. The faith word for the month of May is proclaim. That means to share out loud what you believe about your faith. 5월의 주제는 선포인데요. 선포는 우리가 믿음에 대해서 믿고 있는 것을 큰 소리로 전하는 것이에요. The memory verse for May is from X. Chapter 6, verse 17b. These people are servants of the Most High God. They are proclaim a way of salvation to you. 5월의 암송 말씀은 사도행전 16장 17절 말씀이에요. 이 사람들은 가장 높으신 하나님의 종들인데 여러분에게 구원의 길을 선포하고 있다. 
This month, we are hearing stories about a man named Paul. In today's story, Paul gets help from some friends. 이번 달에는 우리가 바울이라는 사람의 이야기를 배우는데요. 오늘 이야기에서는 바울이 몇 친구들의 도움을 받는 이야기를 배우게 돼요. Dear God, thank you for friends who help us in times of need. Bless our worship today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 하나님, 우리들이 어려울 때 도움을 줄수 있는 친구들을 주셔서 고맙습니다. 오늘 우리의 예배를 축복해 주세요. 예수님의 이름으로 기도합니다. 아멘. Let us all confess our faith. I believe in God the Father who made heaven and earth. 나는 하늘과 땅을 만드신 하나님을 믿어요. I believe in Jesus Christ our Lord who was crucified, died, and rose from the dead. 나는 십자가에서 돌아가시고 다시 살아나신 예수 그리스도를 믿어요. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 나는 성령과 죄를 사하여 주심과 몸이 다시 사는 것과 영원히 사는 것을 믿어요. 아멘 Today's Bible story is Paul escaped with help. It is from Book of Acts chapter 9. So let us all read together. Taste and see If you love me then you'll be some friends of Paul were with him in the city of Damascus. They listened to Paul proclaim that Jesus is God's son. 바울의 몇몇 친구들은 다마스커스라는 도시에서 바울과 함께 있었어요. 그 친구들은 예수님이 하나님의 아들이라고 바울이 선포하는 것을 들었죠. They listened to Paul proclaim that Jesus was the Savior. The friends were inspired by Paul's change. 그 사람들은 바울이 예수님은 구세주라고 선포하는 것을 듣기도 하였어요. 그 사람들은 바울이 변화된 것을 보고 감동을 많이 받았어요. But there were other people in Damascus who were confused by Paul's change. 하지만 다마스커스에는 다른 사람들이 있었는데 그 사람들은 바울이 변화되어서 혼돈된 사람들이었어요. Wasn't Paul coming here to arrest the followers of Jesus? Now he's proclaiming that we should all follow Jesus, said one of the people. 바울이 예수를 따르는 사람들을 잡아 가두려 여기에 온거 아니었어? 이제는 우리 보고 예수를 따라야 한다고 그가 선포하고 있네? 하고 사람들이 말하였어요. Do you think he's trying to trick us? So we will get in trouble? Asked another person. I don't think we should trust him. Maybe we need to hurt him before he can hurt us, suggested another person. 바울이 우리를 속여서 우리가 곤란해지게 하려는 건 아닐까? 하며 서로 물어보았어요. 이 사람을 믿으면 안 되겠는데? 이 사람이 우리를 해치기 전에 우리가 그 사람을 어떻게 해야 할지도 몰라. 하며 다른 사람이 또 말을 했어요. Paul's friends 
her the plan to hurt him. They came up with a plan to help him escape Damascus, so Paul wouldn't get hurt. 바울의 친구들은 사람들이 그를 해치려는 계획을 들었어요. 그래서 친구들이 바울을 다메스커스에서 구해주려 할 방법을 생각해내고 바울이 다치지 않게 빠져나갈 수 있게 해줬어요. The friends found a large basket and some long rope. They put Paul in the basket and lowered him over the wall of the city. Paul was safe. 바울의 친구들은 커다란 바구니하고 긴 밧줄을 구했어요. 그래서 친구들이 바울을 그 바구니에 들어가게 하고 바구니를 밧줄로 묶어서 성 밖에 벽을 타고 내려가게 해 주었어요. 그래서 바울은 안전하게 빠져나갈 수 있었어요. This is the word of God. 이것은 하나님의 말씀입니다. Thanks be to God. 하나님께 감사를 드립니다. So let's all watch the video on Paul escaped with help now. Hello friends, it's Carly. Let's talk about proclaiming. So you remember when I said to proclaim is to share out loud what you believe about your faith? Sometimes people don't always appreciate what you are proclaiming. Sometimes when we talk about love and including everyone, some people might get upset because they don't understand or disagree. You remember when Jesus first preached and some of the people in power got mad? Maybe you've heard stories of people getting upset when someone stands up for what is right. Proclaiming isn't always easy. Imagine this, you are a leader and you are speaking about God's love, but not everyone understands. You didn't always talk like this, so people are also surprised. People are angry at you because you're proclaiming for change and it makes them uncomfortable. They don't trust you because you are different from how you used to be and they don't want to hear what you have to say. This would be really scary and hard. This is what happened to Paul in our story. The people didn't want to listen to him proclaim God's word. So they planned to stop him. But before they could find him, his friends helped him to escape by getting out of the city and made sure that he was safe. Last year, my brother did something really brave. He noticed that there was a kid being bullied at our school. He went to our principal and talked about the importance of making sure everyone felt safe and included. The kids doing the bullying made him feel bad for making such a big deal. My parents and I cheered him on and encouraged him. He knew he had our support and he kept helping others understand that bullying was not okay. Now the school has a program to educate kids against bullying and to help kids being bullied find the courage to seek help. Even when there is only one person proclaiming, there is a community of people who are helping. Who are the people that you can depend on when things get hard? Paul was helped by his friends so that he could continue his ministry. My brother was encouraged by his family so he could keep going. Remember that when you proclaim, you don't have to do it alone. Now, it's your turn to wonder. Spiritual practice is something we do to help us connect to and spend time with God. 영성 훈련은 하나님하고 연결이 되고 하나님과 시간을 같이 하도록 우리를 도와주는 것이에요. It doesn't have to be the same thing every time, but it can be. 매번 같은 것을 반복할 필요는 없어요. 그렇지만 같은 것을 반복할 수도 있어요. A spiritual practice can be praying silently or out loud, 
dancing, singing, walking, breathing, drawing, chanting, or speaking blessings. 영성 훈련은 지난주에 선생님이 얘기한 것 같이 여러 가지로 할수 있어요. 기도를 할 수도 있고 또 소리내서 기도할 수도 있고 춤이나 찬양, 걷기, 숨쉬기, 그리고 그림 그리기 아니면 말로 축복을 하는 것 여러 가지가 있을 수 있어요. So repeat after me. My voice is important. My voice is important. My voice matters. My voice matters. Thank you, God, for my voice. And everyone says, Thank you, God, for my voice. Hear us as we pray. Dear God, we learned about Paul today. Help us proclaim your love in all we say and do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 하나님, 오늘 우리는 바울에 대해서 배웠습니다. 우리들이 말과 행동으로 하나님의 사랑을 선포하게 도와주세요. 예수님의 이름으로 기도합니다. 아멘 Now is our time to respond to God with our offering. Dear God, thank you for our worship today. We brought gifts to you. Bless them and accept them. May they be used in your good ministry through our church. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now it's time for activities and this first page is for coloring. So you may color. And this second page is fill in the vowel in the sentences. So you fill it in. If you know the, the faith word for the month of May, you will be able to do that. And this page is for writing down or drawing pictures about what makes a good friend. So let's think about it. And last but not least, this is for Mother's Day project today. So we're going to color either star shape or heart shape of this wooden hanger. So you will color and get to decorate and we'll give it to our mom later. Okay. Now I'm going to bless you. The blessing is, children of God, you are important you matter. And we will close our worship with the Lord's Prayer. Until I see you next Sunday, be good and be safe always. Our Father in heaven, our Father in heaven, How awesome is your name? How awesome is your name? Your kingdom come, your will be done. Your kingdom come, your will be done. On earth as in heaven. On earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our sins as we forgive. Forgive our sins as we forgive. Lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Forgive. Forgive our sins as we forgive. Lead us not into temptation. Lead us not into temptation. But deal.
Forgive our sins as we forgive. Lead us not into temptation. 